Okay. Human resources. Organizational management. Organizational plan. Staffing. Right now, we're just going through an overview of HR. Okay, 001-2022. Plan version, current plan was set. Now, what is this current plan? We'll go into the configuration and see what this current plan is. Right now, we'll just have a walkthrough of how HR actually looks. Okay, new organizational unit. It can be anything that we want to create as an organization. It can be an entire organization or a unit that will be assigned a decentralized unit which started its operations and functions from this state. Okay, and we can also give it some description. Okay. And of course, if there is a different description like completion text, maybe it might be for a project or a latest end or a status, requisition status, okay, or a cost center group text, whatever that can be actually given to the organization unit. Now, account assignment. What can be an account assignment as we, uh, as we have not seen yet, but let me, let me just show you. Okay. Fine. Cost center, why we actually need cost centers to capture the expense, the overheads, the salaries, the taxes that an organization unit will have to pay. Okay. And company code, okay. What are company codes? Company codes basically that financial unit which can produce and maintain its own financial statements like balance sheet, income statement, profit loss, cash flow, and so on. Personal area, personal sub area. Now, what is a personal area? Now, personal area is nothing but your physical location of uh, the business operations. For example, if you talk about a company like Lawrence Port, I'll take a question in the end, Kadir. Personal area is basically a physical location, okay, as the client will dictate. For example, Lawrenceport has a location in Kuwait or and it has a location in Sharjah. Okay. Now Kuwait will be a personal area that will be different. Sharjah will be different. Why? Because rules in Sharjah for workforce management, labor laws are different for Sharjah. As we talk about labor laws, then we have labels like white collared, blue collared. Okay, and even in that, we have uh, subcategories. Then comes in personal, personal sub area. Now, personal sub area, now for, for example, this is Kuwait. Personal sub area will be retail stores, is one personal sub area. Warehouse, another personal, or factory outlet, that's another personal sub area. Or you can group together all the retail stores, that's another personal sub area while there is um, a warehouse that's a different why because retail stores will have employees of the same category salesmen sales managers cash counter attendants okay and security for example but warehouses will have people like supervisors inventory controllers so both these categories both these personal sub areas will have different kind of payrolls okay so that's why we need a personal sub area that will be different. Okay, organizational data. Organizational data. Fine. Now, organizational data is basically uh, we have a subunit, for example, it will be given an ID. And that 
unit has some kind of function. It could be corporate, it could be company, it could be uh, factory, whatever. And what will be the role of that unit? Is it an organization, is it an office, it's a department, it's a group? It depends. Okay, you can do that. Business partner. Now, business partner is basically categorized as a centralized way of defining your customers and vendors and HR personals and HR related vendors. They are basically business partners. Okay. Address, of course, that's self explanatory. Uh, you need to give the address details. Anything that comes with the star means that, of, that is obligatory. Cost distribution. Okay, the cost set distribution will be very different here. This is the controlling area. We'll go into discussion later on what is controlling area. Cost center, yes, it's capturing the expenses, the overheads of personal sub area like the retail stores and they are incurring expenses. And for example, there are like 10 retail stores. One retail store is into accessories, furniture and accessories, okay? Other retail store is in luxury goods, decorations, which are expensive items. So order basically, what is an order? Order is just like a project. For example, I if I have two retail stores, one is into accessories or daily goods or low price items, and the other one is in luxury goods, so I will have a different order. Order will be in SAP terms is a production order. It's a project order. It's an internal order. Why? Because now, for example, internal order. Internal order is nothing but a tool or instrument to see what have I incurred in expenses, in salaries, in taxes, in bills, just to know how my retail store is performing. Okay. WBS element, again, it's much related to order, but WBS element is, is a bit different. For example, if my company was into event management or project management, event management like JITEX, big events, okay? So um, WBS element is basically, for example, if I have to set up and launch a JITEX, so I will have first operations to set up, uh, get a place, uh, finalize the place, the resources, get the people. So there will be phases. Once it is set up, of course, there will be people coming in. I'll have to make a record of the revenue being generated, the expenses being incurred. WBS element is nothing but it's called work break breakdown structure. And that actually tells you the phases at what stages is our project. So order can be a big project and a WBS element can be a, uh, a phase of that project. Many phases clubbed into one order, okay? An order can be like JITEX, setting up a JITEX exhibition, WBS element will be getting a place, getting it ready, starting the show, inviting people, getting the people, getting revenues, paying the bills, and that's how, I mean, these are phases that I'm talking about, okay? Okay, now, since this is one organizational unit, it could be marketing, so that marketing will have different um, expenses will be captured in various cost centers, cost centers for marketing of real estate or marketing of technology or marketing of uh, software houses in JITEX. Order is JITEX and WBS element is revenue, for example. So the percentage, of course, will be allocated to marketing, to, uh, sorry, to software house, sub project, uh, technology, sub project, and so on. I mean, just to give an idea. Just to give an idea. Okay. So that is how basically uh, you generate an organizational unit. But of course, we'll be seeing, looking at it from, from the uh, configuration perspective as well. Okay. 
you want to save the data? Not right now, because we'll be looking at it from the configuration perspective. Organizational staffing. Then we have expert mode. Okay. Organizational unit, for example, PO10. So uh, we have this organizational unit and let's have a look at it, what it is all about. Change, department staff, let's say change in for time. Our object zero one does not exist. Okay. Five thousand one nine seven. Enter. Okay, it's not yet maintained as an organizational unit. Uh, let me tell you one more thing. Current plan, uh, you must have actually asked me what this current plan is. Basically, current plan is a general plan. This is because this is a shared server. And how do we know what is this server? This is called client 100, okay? And since many people are using it for their own projects, so we just stick to current plan. But every company will have its own ecosystem landscape to configure their landscape for their HCM, SAP, HCM, like, for example, this was KFC Pakistan, Coca-Cola, Lawrence Port, and these are the prototypes, uh, not prototypes that will be configured and then moved on to the production server. Since this is development server, we keep it to the current plan. Everything is being planned and developed under the current plan. So we keep it generic. So if you are on a client side, of course, then the plans will be specific, like Lawrence Bull, like Pepsi, like Coca-Cola, right? So that's how it is. Okay, speaking of job. Is it still there or is it, is it the 